Guys, how's it going? So today we're going to be watching uh, 12 Gadgets for Survival in the Forest. Because I, I don't know, I've been watching these dude's videos for a while now. And I was like, yo, I'm going to check out um, this guy's videos. Uh, or or uh, I want to I wanna react to the stuff on it because some of these are goofy as fuck and some of them are like really interesting uh so this is if i remember correctly brought by tech zone on youtube i'm gonna add a link to his video because you know actually watch the whole video i'm gonna be cutting out a bit from it but here we go so the first or i guess not the first thing but we're gonna we're gonna see what the first thing is <laughs> see like some of these are weird tech zone there he is <laughs> According to some experts, a person can survive for about two months without food, but only a hundred hours without water. So, having this Is that true? Thought... You can only survive for like a hundred hours without water? That's crazy. Because I know like the food thing, that makes sense, because you're, you're able to survive for like a while, right? Uh, because, you know, um, you, your stomach shrinks basically to deal with that. And, and like i'm butchering this this isn't scientific at all but i know i know the food thing i don't know about the water thing I, let's see 100 hours that's about let's see 72 hours just three days because i think you can only survive like a week right like five days or four days a night with, without water we'll have to google it some other point but i don't really care anyway to run a long hike is a great idea it's so cool that it meets the military standard NSF P248. Oh yes, it's so cool it meets the military standard. Viruses, <laughs> bacteria, and See, I always wonder though if he's reading these like product points or if he's made the script himself and it's just like reading along um, what he's written because some of these are like, you know, it's clearly their marketing like they're like it's it's past the military test and stuff. But some of them are like, did he just record this and just went along with it? Because I would, I guess. I would read like their Kickstarter page and stuff. It has a capacity of 2.6 gallons and cleans 0.3 gallons okay. in a couple of minutes. The... Those things kind of look like the, uh... they kind of look like they use paper straw wrappers. Or not even the paper straw wrappers. Jeez, that's how old, how new I am now. See? I don't even remember the days of plastic straws. No. <laughs> anyway, no. Uh, it looks a lot like the plastic straw wrappers, honestly. I'm sure it filters Minutes. out well. It just looks kind of funny. The cartridge will last 795.5 gallons. Okay. So it has like a warning light to switch out the thing. That's kind of funny. The whole set is packed in a handy bag and weighs about 19 ounces. <laughs> Yo, that you zipper box makes me act filter up. <laughs> sale for $270. Okay, we've basically seen that whole thing so let's so let's fast forward a bit to the next thing all that is mine i carry with me cicero once said okay however it's unlikely that the roman orator oh God, there's a fake fire politician knew how his words would be interpreted in the future a striking example is this belt which in addition to <sighs> like how the product is supposed to be the belt but the first thing he shows is the gun <laughs> that's just attached to the belt it's like okay so okay, let's see what this belt this belt's offers about. Offers a knife with a bottle opener, a flashlight, and a okay, a starter. knife, a bottle opener. The belt turned out to be quite like, I like how they used the knife. The they used it. A second edition. <laughs> and it's, it's got a fire a starter, like one of those piston style steel, ones. I'm assuming, which... or if not, it's one of those ferro rods. But so far, I mean, it looks cool. It's not really a belt though. It's more of a belt buckle. So I think calling it a belt is the wrong thing, unless. Unless, I guess the whole belt is included, but it's mainly this thing that you're buying. It's the belt buckle. I don't... Okay. Whatever. Uh, I'm no marketing genius, so, you know, I'm just going <laughs> to roll with it. Let's go. Edition. It's equipped with a knife made of... Hey, it's made with steel, AUS steel. Us steel. I don't know, man. That steel looking kind of us. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. <laughs> I hope my editor doesn't get tired of me and leave me. Because, man, I need someone to make these videos for me. The belt itself is nice, too. It has a tiny flashlight? Okay. Retains flexibility in cold weather mm -hmm. and can withstand loads up to 1,500 PSI. So it can probably be used to tow a quad bike. The price is I like how 
it can be used for 1500 psi and he's like it could probably be used to tow a quad bike or something like that i like the i like the confidence it can probably use i wouldn't recommend it but it could probably be used that's kind of the price hmm. is 113.5 dollars 115 dollars no bro i'm not that seems like a lot like guys i'm not necessarily aching for money but 100 bucks for that i go with like 80 80 bucks to 50 bucks uh 50 bucks if uh i don't know okay maybe 50 bucks is too cheap but 80 at most 115 seems like a lot it seems excessive for essentially just a belt that has a cool multi-tool in it I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily spend 115 bucks on it. Fishing, right like, it looks useful. It just, I don't know. According to the... <laughs> it's like when you give your... Uh, it's like when you give your sibling the controller that doesn't work, and you just tell them, go on, use it. Like, <laughs> I think I've seen this thing before. It, it was definitely like... Um, shoot, wasn't it like on Shark Tank or something? Right in your I've seen this thing before, According though, to the for sure. This compact folding rod will delight both amateurs and pros. However, you'll need a big pocket. But the fishing I mean, you can get like a holster in instead. And the kit contains two lures, a hook, and other small things. Has rings. two lures, but the hold mini on, rod is... weighs about eleven and a half ounces and is nine inches long when folded. It lets you fish all year round. It lets you fish all year round. Handle. Like I don't the think that's. Is not only quiet, I don't think the rod is the thing holding you back from fishing all year round. I think it's like the stuff. Oh no, my guy's glitching out. Fun Shit, he caught a. That's a big ass children. fish he caught though. Not in vain. Similar rods have been produced for decades. The price is convenient, fun, and interesting. Yeah, it looks cool. It's just it's more and more like, uh, I'd say mundane things that he's shown right now. I mean like. The belt was kind of mundane, but like, I don't know, this is sick. It's just, uh, I can see a reason for it and I can see why people would use it. So that's it. It's not really that interesting, you know, in terms of like, I think something weird or something that's made to solve a specific problem is the thing that's more interesting to look at. This, he actually like, you know, it's a fishing rod that you can fold and take wherever you want. That's, that's useful. That's kind of cool. Next one is this one, Radiant campfire Looking for easier oh yeah i've seen this shit it's um camping as well for example, it's like sitting around oh, sorry um nice, but clearing the place, what's it called collecting wood and building the fire i think rhett and link did, did a thing on this from now, good mythical morning where it's like used to uh um like cook um uh, it's a pretty close uh they used it to like cook marshmallows or s'mores or something i think also uh what's the other guy's name on youtube tyler something uh, I forget what his name is, but he does like these unboxing videos of random stuff, right? Not really unboxing as much as product reviews, but he used this thing or something yeah, similar to it, and it, it's to uh, camping as well. For example, it's cool. Sitting around the it's fire just kind of like nice, but to put it out. Place, there's no handle on that silver plate thing. Watch. So, now, um, you can buy a port see, like that's hot, and then you need to put the plate on to turn it off because you don't want to waste it. It's reusable. So, to actually, like, put the thing on top, you would basically be going near the fire. So, it's kind of dumb in that sense. And sometimes it doesn't actually put it all out because you need to actually seal it so that the, there's no oxygen so it turns off. So, I remember him using it and it was kind of like, mm, I don't know if I want to use it. Looks like a huge aroma candle. See? It's a pretty close comparison. Paper briquettes are filled with soy <laughs> wax oh and one match is enough to light it. The manufacturer promises three to five hours of paper briquettes with soy wax. Man, they're like trying to hit every quota, huh? Reusable, uh, paper, soy, uh, fucking portable. They're trying to hit all the all the marks, and I mean it. It works. It's just I don't know if I would use it. I don't know if I like it. The cost of this portable campfire starts at twenty dollars. Three to five hours. Okay. See, it's reusable, but I think I would use it for the three to five hours. I think I would just put it down, set it up, like at the beach or something, and just let it burn for those hours. Because then you can do stuff around it, like whether it be to stay warm or to be like, 
cook some marshmallows or something on it. I think I would just leave it on. I don't know if I want to reuse it necessarily. Um, also, I wonder how well it works when it's reused, you know? Like, you turn it off, you let it, and then the next time you're going to reuse it. Like you said, it basically is just a big candle. So I guess it would work fine. I just don't trust it. The creative gaze of manufacturers of Noah gear was bound to stumble upon. Whenever they do 9 in 1, or like it's, oh, it's like a 10 in 1 multi tool. You know that old saying? The, um, uh, what is it? Uh, uh, Jack of all trades, master of none, or whatever that thing is. That's basically what happens. You get a bunch of subpar tools. Like maybe one of them will work really well. Like I'm assuming the axe will work really well, and the hammer, obviously. But everything else is kind of unnecessary, in my opinion. Like, okay, you gotta compass on the bottom okay that's i guess useful for the forest uh let me see what else they have let's see it's got an axe mm -hmm. it's got a knife see the saw i don't <laughs> do you see the hold on the knife He's trying to you or the saw, sorry, the, the the saw he's trying to use is not gonna cut through that big ass piece of wood, and that's what you want. You want a saw that can cut through a big piece of wood because you're usually gonna be making a fire or maybe cutting down a tree or something to use it for survival. I'm assuming. Um, I feel like people who pack these stuff usually are the kind that will go camping and not survival. You know what I mean? So it almost feels like it's overkill for what you're doing, which is just hanging out in a campground. Uh, you might need a knife to cut the, the, the fish and the stuff that you get. Um, or, I mean, you will. You will need a knife. But the amount of times I've seen people actually use an axe, it's not really that much. Um, I'm sure people in the comments will tell me, oh, I use an axe all the time to like cut down trees for firewood, but I'm just, I don't see it really too much. Why the fuck do you need a glass breaker? Like, okay, I get it. It's survival, and the glass breaker is supposed to be so you can use to like break into break out of a car or something, or uh, I don't know, I can't really think of any other situation. You use it, break into a house when you need to get in from a storm or something. But this seems again, see, I told you it's like unnecessary stuff, it's just adding so that it sounds cooler because they're like nine, uh, nine gadgets in one. Hell yeah, it sounds hella cool. So it's just. Ugh. I don't know. Uh, maybe I'm being too hard on this product. It does look sick. I would I would want that as like a gift. I wouldn't buy it because of the practicality or the tools. I would buy it because it's it's cool to have. <laughs> it's mainly the thing. Bottle opener. The axe weighs 2.2 pounds and comes with a leather case. The perfect Christmas gift, the manufacturers think. And ask $99 for it. See, $100 seems like too much for it, though. Like, I'm glad you guys put in the effort to put in, like, all those extra tools. But, like I said, half of them are, like, weird to have specifically on the axe. That's what I mean. Like, you would think it would be stuff that you would need on the axe. Or whatever. And for $99, it's like, I mean, I could just... I can find like a, a small multi-tool that probably has a lot of these things and then just bring an axe with me. That's, that's, I'm just saying. This protective poncho blanket will help in case of an emergency. For example, after a fall into the Why does she have hers inside out though? And his is like, I'm assuming they're trying to show off like both, but like, if it's water based, like if the, the orange one's supposed to protect from water, and I'm assuming the gray is supposed to protect from like fire and shit. It's kind of weird that she has it inside out right now. I'm assuming it works both it's ways, either way. Just kind of weird. The Apollo Lunar module. Thanks to it, the poncho yep, retains up to 90% of body heat and is very compact. It's basically a, a space blanket. I mean, mylar has been used for a lot of things. Uh, if you go to like Walmart or something, uh, what's the brand they have? Out, Outback or Trail? Out Trail? I can't remember. Trail Back, I think, something like that. They have uh, survival blankets that are made out of this stuff. Um, supposedly it's really good to like keep in your car, like if you're going to snow or something. Car breaks down. 
you don't want to turn on the heater because you're going to, I don't know, waste your car battery or something, or you're just going to, you know, be there for a while anyway. Use a, one of these blankets, and apparently it's really good to keep you warm and shit, or to regulate your temperature. I missed this. I missed this. Hold on. <laughs> I was trying to skip this because it was going on for way too long. Hold on. Hold on. I'm not going to edit that out because I just think it's funny for this you guys to see that I so fuck up and make weird things. This is the Hunt 4.0. Meet Hunt. A device okay, they didn't have to do that. They didn't have to do the little flourish of, whoa, check it out. <laughs> but okay, here we go. Pry bar, and that small thing. Tool fire light, okay. Let's run through the features. I don't... The lights are I think the pry bar is just going to be useless, though. Uh, well, maybe it's strong enough, but, like, who do you use it for? Opening cans where you can't put your nail in, I guess? Uh, maybe as a make as a bottle opener? Otherwise, that, I don't really know. The fire is cool, and the little flashlight is cool, but it looks a little small to be useful. Including driving a screw. Opening a bottle and repairing a fishing rod. See, that just that looks too titanium. small, though. The, only an ounce. the lighter's cool, though. I, I would buy it just for the lighter. Like, the lighter looks sick. And the little flashlight, well, it's just a bonus, you know? At that point. Shit. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I think it's the last product on the list. So let's see what it is. To any survival kit, says the seller. This is an arrowhead that could potentially be used as a spearhead. Okay. As well as a knife, a screwdriver, and more driver and more bro this guy's just selling you a, a steel um uh arrowhead essentially like i get why it's useful right like he said uh you can basically it's a universal arrowhead you can attach it to any stick it's a knife because yeah it has a handle you can hold it in a screwdriver i don't know i mean like i'm assuming you jam it in there like you would if you used a knife as a screwdriver this seems kind of this seems like again they're just kind of stretching the capabilities of it because it's not cool enough by itself like don't get me wrong this is cool i, I would like to have one of these because it's just it looks cool again but it's made of 1095 steel which okay, is yeah, easy sharp. to sharpen in the field the tip is two and a half inches long and weighs 0.3 ounces. it comes with us that's the storage case are you kidding me wait no and you can also that's the storage case i think right hold like on this one for example I like minimalistic things, notes one customer, and the price is reasonable. Is that, a, is that the storage case? Motherfucker, that looks like you put duct tape. Oh, that looks like you put duct tape in, in, in the packaging that it came in. <laughs> Don't tell me that. Or is this the thing? Wait. So you can make or order a sheet. Man, dude, that takes up way more space, though. Also, why does that look like pepperoni <laughs> with olives or something on it? <laughs> oh, I don't know, man. I I think it by itself would have been fine. Just put like a guard on the arrow, like, like one of those little plastic things, uh, notes, uh, plastic B things like this, and you just put it in dollars. front from both sides, you know, like a like a knife guard. A compact grappling hook. Okay, now we're getting into weird territory. Like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Man, don't tell me it's not like a goth kid's wet dream, whatever. The, the Titaner T. Fisher, or Fish 04. Are you kidding me? Even the name is fucking edgy as shit. It's the Titaner, oh my gosh. <laughs> and is it the grappling hook? Are you kidding me? That looks like someone put like bullet casings and just put them inside of one of those uh, 99 cent flashlights. I'm sure it works. I'm just. All right, let's just watch the video. Let's see what it what is it actually about. Storage unit, a fancy paperweight. Yes, this device does all that and much more. Oh my gosh. For example, you can hide Dude, you're fucked if you lose the little spikes, though. Why not just make them box. fully attachable? Also, These I don't trust that they would hold anything heavy sizes. if they're screw-on. Just make it a one solid piece so it can, it can like, hold, chances. like, and then bring it with a carrying case or something. And writes that the model is okay, you're fucking so delusional. Cool $61 for that? <clears throat> Bro, what, what would you even use it for? Like, the only thing I can think of why you would use it. 
would be like uh if you need to throw your your stuff up over a tree branch right purpose it just looks edgy and cool like i would not trust this shit to actually hold any sort of significant weight like sure it's cool to grapple onto something but i i don't trust that it would hold me and i'm not even that heavy i just wouldn't trust it i think it's useless <laughs> i think honestly it's useless so uh i'm sure he has like a couple more products on there but i think i'm gonna end it here it's, uh you guys should go check out the actual rest of the video and go see the other products and make up your own mind on whether they're actually cool or not and you know come back here and comment and say uh i'm a piece of shit for having this opinion <laughs> but uh i think i'm gonna end it there i think it's just easier uh <laughs> i don't know i think so far my favorite product has to be the um i don't know actually because all these seem like kind of useless in a sense i think my favorite product is it would be the fishing thing but i also don't fish very often and like and like it would just sit in my glove box the knife belt thing i could see being really useful just because if it's not bulky and it actually feels like a normal belt i would i would use it every day It'd be a problem at the airport and shit but you know any other time it's cool you go out you need a little knife uh that's where we're gonna end it i hope you guys enjoy and uh don't forget to leave a like Maybe give me a sub if you can. If not, don't worry about it. Um, your views are more than enough. <laughs>